So our morning area generally looks a little bit cleaner than this, like our dining room, but it is just this way right now because I got these chairs. I bought them from somebody, I don't know, on Facebook Marketplace because they're the right height, you know, for the table for them when they do their work. So when we have dinner time and stuff, we use the regular chairs, but these are our school time chairs. So I bring them in for school time. And these were their first day of school baskets um, where they keep like their fun activities and sort of their own pens and things like that. And then we just have a little trash basket right there too for school time. But I would prefer it if we had a school room again, you guys, because I don't like having homeschool in the dining room. It really isn't my jam. But let's get started with the day, yeah? Are you ready? Yeah, I want to show you real fast. Like one of the things that I'm doing for my eldest, especially who has ADHD, is just this little to-do list. It's like a little index card. And um, I just put the date on the top. And then we have a few things that I'd definitely like to get through. Um, right now, this is just for the morning before we go to um, our afternoon activities like piano today and parkour. But I just want to have like a few things written out for him so that he can get started without my help. And you know what the date is today? It's the 21st. Can you move it to 21? 21. Where do you see the two and the one? Uh, Australia. October. <laughs> What's the season, Juju Bean? Fall. So put it on fall. Move your arrow to fall. fall. Okay, good job. And it's the morning time, so put it on morning time. Morning. Good girl. And what's the weather outside like today? Weather? I would put it on sunny. Even though it's a little chilly, it's still sunny. Good girl. There you go. You did your calendar. And he's a face. Yes. Yes. So everybody has like a little list of things to do for the day. And that's how we're going to get started, right? You want me to show me your list? Yeah. Uh-huh. And then behind us, we have our memory board. And we'll do that during like morning work time. So and he's got his. Mm. And he can start anywhere he wants. Sometimes we do um, organize it so that we all do like language arts at the same time. Or one of us does it and one of us does math. But today we're just going for a free-for-all without any gaps appearing, kind of like a tile floor, you know, to go as far as you want on a tile floor, same shape, right? So everything must be covered with no spaces uncovered, okay? So point to each pattern in the plane above. Do you see the pattern where it's green, yellow, green, yellow, green, yellow? Mm -hmm. Do you see the red, blue, red, blue, red, blue? And do you see the blue, yellow, blue, yellow, blue, yellow? Blue, yellow, blue, yellow. There you go, that's it. That's to tessellate. So when you see a tile floor and stuff, when you see a pattern, like a black and white checkered floor, that's a tessellated pattern. Okay, what are you working on? What I'm working on is mind benders. It's really fun. But the last chart was huge. <laughs> this one's less? Yeah, this one's like a medium level. Mm -hmm. But still, it's hard because the more spaces there are, the more I need to fill out, the more clues I need to know. So That's, I need to keep reading three clues they give me. Right. Oh, fancy stars, my goodness. Pretty fancy. Can we do what we're doing now together? Okay, can you point to the object that is green and not a square? Good job, what is it? Triangle. Yes, this is triangle. Okay, so let's write the number instead of the, the tally. Let's write the number this time. Just for fun. So you had five plus zero equals? Five. So can we write a five there? Let's write a five there this time. That way. Good girl. Well done. So generally at some point in the morning, I show the painting of the day from our little desk calendar. And this is by Agnolo Bronzino from the 16th century. It's portrait of a young man and it's an oil painting on copper. Jujubine, who do you see there? A young man. What does a young man mean, eh? Um, a little man? Mm hmm. In the 16th century, those curly white parts around his neck must have been like regular. Uh, mm hmm. That was like regular it? wear. It was like kind of like a collar. It was um, often they were made out of like like a delicate fabric, and sometimes the more important you were, the bigger that was. Black hair. Mm hmm. Like black brown hair. Right. Do you like the quality of it? What style do you think it is? I realistic. Mm -hmm. light and dark. Generally every day we try to listen to some selections from the Squilt music calendar and that's an easy way to get music study in. How does the ocean say hello? It waves. 
What do they? Like your cursive book this year? What do you like about it? It's filled with jokes. Yeah, and it has jokes. And I also like that they have this section where you can like practice in an outline first. See? So they can outline it and then they write it on their own. So it gives your hand a little practice. What you doing? I'm just cutting off the hamburger. Oh, the hamburger? Yeah. Good job. I'm trying not to cut it because I didn't cut it even once. Oh, okay. So what shape is that that you're cutting? A square. So it's got four corners, right? Mm -hmm. So what is she doing actually? She's doing division because fractions are included with division. Yeah, exactly. So it's, it's really division. He's exactly right. Fractions are actually division. You're saying the numerator is divided by the denominator. Okay? The numerator is the number on... Mm -hmm. And the denominator is the number on oh, the bottom. So you did a whole bunch of stars for practice. Good job. One, two, three, four. That's enough. So, turn behind you. What is the name of the painting of the lady? Mona Lisa. That's correct. Yay! Okay, who painted the Mona Lisa? Albert Einstein? <laughs> what? That's a scientist. Okay. So who painted the Mona Lisa? Leonardo da Vinci. Good job. Four uh -huh. one. Okay. Juju, what was the name of that painting of the lady? Vinci? No. What was her name? Vinci. No. Mona? Lisa. Yes. And who painted her? Leonardo? Da Vinci. We're just making up people now, okay? <laughs> what is the coldest continent, Juju? It's the one on the very bottom. What is that one called? It's where penguins live. Yes, but what is it called? Antarctica. Antarctica for another coin. Well done. Um, can you tell me what that big building is on the card on the lower right? Uh, the Roman Colosseum? Yes. And what happened in the Roman Colosseum? Gladiator fights. Exactly. Gladiator fights and a lot of entertainment that wasn't so great, really. Good. Okay, what kind of style of painting, Nai, do you think the top right is? Impressionist? Yes, for a coin. Very well done. Yay. Okay, G. Um, what little insect do you see below the Mona Lisa? A little black ant. Okay. And what do you call a group of ants? A colony. Very nice. Four coin. Mm, and the great horned owl. Mm -hmm. And the great horned owl. I am. I already asked you to. I'm gonna ask you some more. What do you call it? And when an animal is awake at nighttime. Like an owl. Good job. That is true. For a coin. Here you go. Uh, what do you call it, though? And. Um, Very nice. Five coin. Gauguin. Remember, he was good friends with Van Gogh. He no, painted paintings with that bright ask color. Ask me a question. Ask you a question? Okay. Um, what planet do we live on? What? Earth. Very good. Here you go. That was easy. It's the third planet to the sun. Second is Venus. First is? Mercury. Nice. More Jupiter and Uranus and Neptune. Mama, ask Very me a well done. Again. Okay, but I'm going to ask you another question, and you're going to no, get it. No, I'm not. Should we put this in the video? Yes. The real actions? Yes, we should. We should? Yeah. The real actions. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want you to talk to me. Oh, we love you so much, and I'm so impressed with how much you know. Okay? You know a lot. Look at all your coins, man. It's too heavy to hold. Yeah, Show everybody. Than... Show everybody. It's so heavy. It's so heavy. What is five plus five? Ten. Good girl. Four a coin. Ten. Six times eight is... Forty-eight. Sometimes as they're doing their work, I prepare other things in their notebooks. So I like to put some of these printouts from Big Life Journal into their spirit um, notebooks where we keep a whole bunch of um, things. Like sometimes we do copy work of like nice inspirational quotes. And um, other times I just put it in 
printouts like this that I think are good to talk about in terms of like a growth mindset. What did you just work on? What did you just finish? Language fundamentals. Yes, and what, what did you talk about in this one? What type of language? Reflexive. Reflexive? Pronouns. Pronouns, very nice. So she put a definition and she wrote a sentence. The cat hurt itself. So what's the reflexive pronoun in that sentence? Thank you. The cat hurt itself. Nice. Very nice. Now we're gonna actually work on a little experiment from our Evan Moore Skill Sharpener Science for Kindergarten. And it's just a water experiment. So she ran and got her cup. Nice job. Can you fill that cup about halfway with water? How? Where? From the fridge. Thank Did you, you get about halfway? Yeah. Yeah? Okay, so now we're gonna get a black marker, okay? Come on, let's go get a black marker. Okay, I got one in here. Uh-huh. So we're gonna draw it right where it is. Is that where the water line is? Yep. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. Let's see. See it through. You can see it through? Mm -hmm. Oh, pretty good actually. Okay, so I'm gonna draw one on the inside too, just to be clear, okay? So since we have a red cup, what we're gonna do is we're gonna color a piece of I tape. Can't. Use my permanent marker and color the tape. It actually works. Yeah, color it. I did. Okay. One more. So we drew a line on a piece of tape. Can you tear that off for me? Nice job. And Mama's going to put it in there, okay? Just so it's at the right level. Yes? Yep. Since it's a permanent marker, I don't think it'll fall away. Okay. So she's actually going to put it on a really sunny windowsill where we have a little ghost. And we're going to see if that water evaporates, right? Right? Mm -hmm. When it evaporates, Juju Bean. Yes, but when it evaporates, do you think that water is going to be more or less? When it evaporates, it goes up into the air, right? So the water in the cup will go down. Yeah, very nice. So let's see, that's our hypothesis. And we'll come Mom, back later and check. So we have a lot of arguing and fighting about who's on the bars at any given time, right? <laughs> so these are like a list of things that were invented by mistake to show that mistakes are... Proof that we are learning. Nice job. Uh, Mommy, see how I labeled a bunch of these Star Wars things that mm -hmm. I drew? What am I supposed to find? Find the things that I didn't label. Pretty easy. This guy. No, that's not Star Wars. That's a random vampire. Yeah. I'm not a Star Wars. What did Wars you Wars. label? You labeled everything. Nope. What did I didn't you... label a few things, actually. What did you label? Do you want the answer? I do want the answer. These four TIE fighters. Mm -hmm. Nice. They surround the Death Star, protecting it. I failed my puzzle. Mama? Failed. <laughs> Failed. Okay, well, to, that's what I'm saying. And it's in my head, so you can't know what it is. Okay. So I just have to guess. There's no clues? No. Nope. You oh. are thinking that you love me so much. Yes. Really? Mm. I love this game. Again. <laughs> okay, I have to and guess something. Time it's an animal. Okay. Elephant. No. Give me a clue. What? Give me a clue. No. One clue. Yeah. Come your on. Clue, she said your clue. Is it your clue was no. Is it big or small? It is like medium. It's medium. Medium? A dog? No. Is it bigger than a dog? It's like longer than a dog, like a giraffe. Is it a giraffe? No. <laughs> uh, a hippo. Does it have stripes? Does it have spots? Does it live in the ocean? Is it a fly? Yeah. Is it an eagle? An owl? A hawk? A cardinal? Is it a bird? But you said it flies. It flies. It's a flamingo. Oh, okay. I did not get it. Flamingo? Two fails. Do you have a puzzle for me? Is it a monkey? No. Because you're looking at it. <laughs> um, Is it a wolf? 
No. Is it a mammal? Mm, no. You guys are really tough teachers. You just have to guess out of all the animals in the world? No, it's not a mammal. Is it a bird? No. Is it an amphibian? It's in a fly. Is it an amphibian? Well, not all birds fly. Is it an amphibian? Well, it glides. Penguin. I know what it is. It glides. I know what it is. Does it glide in water? Mama has to guess. Yes? Can it be on land or water? Can it be the water? Can I snake? Uh -uh. Can I say it? Snakes don't glide. They kind of glide. They slither glide. No. I know what it is. Okay, go ahead. It's a squirrel. A gliding squirrel? A sugar glider? I don't know what it is. A sugar glider? Oh! There we go. You gave me the hint. Because it's the best girl. So it's just about lunchtime. We're running a little bit late because um, we have piano shortly after lunch. But I just wanted to show you real fast what kinds of things I made for their lunch. So today's just an average lunch day. So they have like some grilled cheese sandwiches with a little bit of spinach in there. And then um, apples and some Annie's chocolate bunny cookies and some tomatoes. And I am actually having a Splendid Spoon pumpkin pear bisque thing, which I am excited about. So that's just cooling down. Hello, honey bunnies. I come bringing some more apples. Some more apples. Apple, apple, apple. Let's put it in your bowl, though. There you go. It's in your bowl. It's in your bowl. There you go. There you go. Bella. Bella, Bella, Bella. Let me bring your, your whole plate close. There you go, Bella. Bella just refuses. But Bella, it's gonna fall, Bella. Here, at least eat it here. There you go. You gotta go make lunch, okay? I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye. So this probably seems a little bit weird, but I generally eat on the stairs because it gives me a little bit of space from the kids. And especially when we're eating in a hurry, like today, I just like to have a few moments of quiet. So I like sitting on the stairs, just at the, where the stairs turn around. So you can see, I'm just gonna eat my splendid spoon and call it a day. There's my sculptural dead plant to remind me of what happens to plants when one does not take care of them or they don't like their spot. That was my fiddle leaf fig tree that died. But the other ones are doing really well. So at some point I will plant something else there that might like it better, like maybe a palm or something. I'd like to get something else that's air purifying. So hopefully it'll be something like that. Anyhow, so now I'm gonna eat and then we're gonna dash. So I'm gonna let you guys go.